Hey everyone, welcome back to the Haircuts official YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to go through in depth on what the projects are that we have outstanding at what level of completion they're at and highlight for you what amount of work is going to be required to get them to that 100% or very close to 100% level of completion. What we want you to do is once you've had a chance to watch the whole video, seeing what the projects are, drop us a line down below in the comments, send us a message on Instagram and tell us what project do you want to see us work on first. We're going to take everyone's feedback into consideration. So when we come back for video three, we're going to start with whatever project was the highest voted. And so before we get into that, you're probably wondering why I'm still wearing the same shirt from the first video. I told you guys in the first video, I gotta go shopping. These are my only casual clothes. All I have is dress clothes. So you have to put up with this one for now. So let's go outside. Let's take a look at the rights. This project here, 03 R53S Mini Cooper S supercharged uh, with a 15% pulley and air box mod, uh, upgraded wheels, and aside from that, it's got uh, the JCW uh, body kit on it, painted flares to match, and it's got the factory aero uh, front and rear bumpers. The what this car needs, it's got upgraded um, 06 style front projector lights uh, and the rear tail lights. Problem with this. The rear hatch doesn't open. So there's some wiring issues that need to be addressed there to take a look at why that is. And because of that, you can see the interior is missing. Uh, so we gotta track down why that rear hatch is not opening. And then once that is sorted, then the interior can be put back in place. This one is sort of a minimal project, uh, but it's more important because it's something that I need to drive around on a daily basis. So this should likely be one of the first projects that we tackle but we'll see what you vote on. This is a C6 uh, with a ZR1 body kit on it, uh, wide body rear quarters, full tint, cam intake, exhaust, full headers back, uh, no mufflers, and um, this thing is putting down close to 500. It is scary fast. And what this thing needs is, let's just see if it's open, not open. The power window regulator on the passenger side is not working. Uh, because of that, the window is sort of stuck in this slightly open position. So we need to get that sorted. There's a little, a few assembly pieces that need to be done on the inside. We upgraded the seats. This car has gone through an incredible transformation in the period that we've owned it. Completely unrecognizable from the condition it was that when we picked it up. Um, this is probably, this will just know without a doubt, is the fastest car that we have. And uh, it is insanely, insanely fast. This is project number three. This is a 1978 Trans Am. This is probably the oldest project that we have. Uh, this was bought back in 2009, around the time that the pro touring craze was getting pretty big. Uh, a lot of work was done on this car in the, in the first six months to a year. And after that, it sort of lost way to a lot of other projects that sort of sidetracked us along the way. So what this car has got is, uh, as you can see, the seats are not original to this car. It actually has an 06 GTO interior in it. Uh, so front and rear seats, that one driver's seat is upside down and just needs to be bolted in. Uh, frame rails, everything is done. Those are the rear seats uh, have been installed in already. That center console is out of a CTS-V. Uh, dash is original, um, but it will be replaced with autometer gauges. Steering wheel is missing, that needs to be put on. Car uh, floor and everything is sound. Uh, it's been patched already for any of the rust holes and um, ready for carpeting and, and wiring and all that sort of thing. So the interior is actually pretty good shape. Um, it's That dash is looking a little rough, needs to be recovered. Uh, door panels need to be uh, purchased and installed but overall the interior is not bad the outside is where it's going to need some work the body is fairly decent except for the rear quarters here um both sides are pretty bad um the wheels on here if i remember these are 19s on the back it's been a while since i've been back in this thing yep so 19s in the back i think they were 1910s and 18 nines in the front or 18 eight and a halfs and so this is sort of one of the problems. This car was actually bought to uh, just get the original uh, 400 with a shaker hood going and drive it as is and just paint it. Project scope creep led to one thing to another. So it's got a 
5.3 liter LH6 in this. It's got Z06 heads out of a C5, uh, headers all the way back, uh, two dual exhaust, the 4L60E that it's been upgraded to, 90 millimeter um, MAF, LS3 intake, aftermarket fuel rails. Uh, it's got upgraded brakes front and rear, and uh, see a lot of the details I don't remember on this car because it's been so long since I've worked on it. Uh, but this should be my sort of pride and joy, and this is this is the main project that that I need to get done uh, in the next seven months. Uh, mainly because this is one of the only four seaters, and I'll need that to transport my family around with. Uh, as ridiculous as that sounds, um, so with this one, the computer's already been recoded. Uh, fuel lines have been ran, brakes and everything is already done. Suspension is done. Um, what it needs is the fuel pickups need to be installed in the fuel tank and um, we need a battery and just go once through on the wiring engine standalone harness was already done and we should be close to firing it up and seeing where it goes from there and then it'll be assembly of the front end so at least we can get it rolling and then from there we can start dealing with the body replacing the windshield that sort of thing right here it's the yamaha bobber project this has probably been here maybe three or so years. I don't remember why we bought it. Um, I guess we thought we had not enough other things to do on our hands. Uh, as you can see, there's a few things. The frame's been cut a little bit here to take off the rear tail. And uh, the tank has been uh, uh, sloped down in the back, raised in the front. Different handlebars, different grips, uh, aftermarket seat. Engine's been painted black. Everything's been sort of blocked out. Uh, and the exhaust it needs to be fixed up. Right now you're missing the back section of the exhaust. You have the headers and things that are on there. Um, and it's in the process of getting a wire tuck, new mirrors, and uh, just to complete the overall more classic bottle look to it. This one doesn't need too much work. Um, it's The problem with this one is that it has dual carbs and they are not running the same airflow. So we need to get a vacuum gauge on here, make sure that the carbs are synced properly, and then it should be okay. Uh, battery and everything is, and this is new. Uh, we have ridden it around, it does ride just fine. Uh, it's just a matter of getting those carbs synced, and then we can either keep this or we can start getting rid of it. What we have here is a 1949, sorry, 48 Cockshut 30. This is a tractor made here in Canada. It's very rare, it's 30 horsepower. And from what we're told, it runs. I had license and insurance until last July, as you can see there. Uh, it's got a PTO on the back right here. Drive your rear drive accessories. It's got a side PTO right here. It's got a nice seat. Everything appears to be original. The carb is missing from there. We got that in a bag. Um, and that's pretty much all it needs. It is missing a battery. So tractor overall seems in pretty decent shape. Picked this up for a song uh, after we got it home. We found out that these are worth quite a pretty penny. After we washed it up, it looks not bad. I know right now it looks pretty worn and rough looking, but you should have seen it before it was washed. So what this, this needs a little bit of work. Uh, it needs to be painted. It needs the car put back on and fired up. Hopefully it does fire up. So this is one of the projects that we have. Right here, we have a 1979 C3 Corvette in white. Uh, it's got stock size wheels on it. It's got some custom seats from the disco era in velour velvet type finishing. Uh, what's been done to this car is, or what needs to be done to it is it needs this exhaust work done, needs a rear suspension, uh, needs the shocks replaced in the front and the back. While we should have been doing that, we were doing a color change, swapped the really bad looking tan colored carpet, uh, the tan colored interior trim pieces, and replaced all those with black to make the inside look better. Um, this is actually my favorite car to drive. It's old, but it's reliable. You don't have to worry about it breaking down on you on the side of the road because it's very simple. Uh, my friends would be probably sketched out to drive this, but uh, for me, I find this comfortable. So there you have it. We've gone through all the projects that we have to work through. 
right? So we got this 79 Corvette right here. We had that 89 five liter Mustang convertible. There was that tractor that we had sitting outside. There's a C6 Corvette. There's the Mini Cooper, the Trans Am. I think there was the Bobber. I think I mentioned all of them there. So go ahead, drop us a message down below in the comments. Send us something on Instagram. Just put in your vote. Let us know what you're interested in, what you want us to work on next. I hope that it's not the Trans Am that you want us to work on first, but if that's what you guys say, that's what we'll do. Uh, I hope it's going to be something easy like the Mini or say put this white Corvette back together. Uh, so until next time, we'll catch you later. Remember to like our videos and subscribe down below so you know when the third video comes out. Thanks. Catch you later.